Hey, welcome back to Foundations of Web Design. This is Thomas Mashad. In this video, we're going to be utilizing this folder, chapter 2 hyphen text, that you can download from the links that are below this video. Just download that, uncompress the zip folder, end up opening it, and you'll notice that there's four HTML documents. So for the next set of videos, I'm going to be going through each one of these HTML documents. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about headings and paragraphs. So we'll open up this HTML document in our text editor. So here we have our HTML document within Komodo Edit, and you'll notice that I've already provided the content for you. I've also provided all of the global HTML elements, our doc type, HTML, head, title, body, tags, as well as the attributes that are needed as well. Now, what we want to do here is we want to mark up our content to being more meaningful, more semantic. And that means that we want to give structure, uh, textual structure, to each one of our topics here. National News Network is our main site that we're dealing with, and in that we have various subtopics. It goes to the subtopic of sports. The subtopic of sports could be a number of different venues as far as, far as Major League Baseball, soccer, uh, NFL football, Canadian football, whatever you might want to think about. Uh, as far as uh, teams are out there, uh, we have the NBA, National Basketball Association, and then a subtopic of that would be the Los Angeles Lakers, and then so forth and so on. We're going to take a look and see how we can use our heading elements. So for our first primary topic is the National News Network. So we'll put in a header one element, and you'll notice that Komodo, remember, Komodo automatically places in that closing element. If you highlight it and you hold down your mouse key and then drag, you can put it right there at the end of your text. Or, and let me undo that, you could highlight it. We could do a Command X or a Control X on the keyboard and then paste it in place. All right. But if you don't want to keep having to move that closing element, it's good, it's good practice to start writing your own closing tags as well. So let me show you a little uh, trick in Komodo. We're going to go to Komodo and then Preferences. And we're going to go to the Code Intelligence. And then we're going to come down to where it says Automatically Insert End Tag when typing Start Tag in HTML slash XML documents. We want to deselect that. Now the OK button is a little bit off screen here, so let me uh, just hit OK down at the bottom, or you can hit return. And once we go to our next element down here that we're going to add in, sports is a subtopic of the National News Network, so we'll put in an opening tag of H2. The H2 is signifying it's the second level or a subtopic of the main topic. So first level element, second level element. So if we were indenting, it would be like sports is a subtopic of the National News Network. Now you'll notice this time Komodo did not place in our closing tag. We need to place that in. But once I type in that left angle bracket and then the slash, Komodo is smart enough to say, I have an opening tag of the header two. Is that the tag that you would like for me to close? And if we just hit tab on the keyboard, that will finish out the tag for us, which is pretty nice. So the next topic that we have is of the NBA, because we could have a number of topics such as Major League Baseball or NFL, but now we're going to dealing uh, we're dealing with a subtopic of sports and specifically the NBA. So the next level down is the header three, and so then we'll just close that. And once again, I'm just going to tab just so you can visually see how this structure is working. Our main level, we have a subtopic, and then we have another subtopic. And the NBA is a subtopic of sports and a sub-subtopic of our main level header. Out of the NBA, we could have another topic, subtopic of the NBA, and that would be the Los Angeles Lakers. We could have a number of teams that we could choose from. This particular demonstration talks about the Los Angeles Lakers. So here, the Los Angeles Lakers is a subtopic of the NBA. So this will be a header four. So as you can see, we're just continuing to increase the heading level. All right, oops. Let me put my cursor at the front, hit this a few times, just to show you that Los Angeles Lakers is a subtopic of the NBA. 
Now, out of the Lakers page, we could have a number of other topics such as news, photos, whatever it might be. In this particular case, we'll talk about who's on the roster. So this is going to be another subtopic, and this subtopic is going to be of the Los Angeles Lakers, and it's going to be on the topic of who's on the roster. So we'll close that element. You don't have to tab all of these subtopics if you don't want to. It's perfectly fine just to keep them all over onto the left-hand side. Now, out of the roster, we could choose a number of players. Most notably, uh, people know Kobe Bryant. He's been with the Lakers for quite some time, and we'll go ahead and make him our last subtopic, H6, and we'll come after his name, and we'll put in our angle brackets, and then hit tab to close. So we have six levels of heading elements that we can choose from. And the one thing that I want you to make sure of is that you don't go out of order. This is a sequence of orders. One, two, three, on down to six. And that's as many uh, heading levels as HTML gives us, is six levels. Rarely will you find a need to go that far. Uh, on occasion, you might. But um, you know this would be going pretty deep into one particular page just to show you, really, as an example, if you had one page and you're dealing with a number of topics and subtopics, this is how the structure might look, okay? So the next element that you will often use, header one is something you'll see on every single HTML document because you're going to have a subtopic of, uh, you know, in a document that you're going to have. You might use a header two. Uh, and then after that, you might use a header three, header four. So as you keep going on down, it's less likely you use you know, header threes, header fours, on to, down to header six. The one HTML element for text that you will use the most often is the paragraph. And we have Kobe Bean Bryant is a shooting guard. And this information, this bio information, oh, this is from, put the M there, uh, is from ESPN.com. And so we're going to put this as an opening description paragraph, so we'll put in a opening paragraph tag just before Kobe. And you'll notice that all the way, if we scroll all the way over to the right hand side, then we have the last bit of text. All right. so what we're just going to do here is we want to see this text all on the screen. So once again, we're going to go up into Komodo, Preferences, and this time we're going to go into the editor, and we want to do Smart Editing. And we want to wrap long lines by the word. Okay, and then I'll hit OK down at the bottom. And now all of our text is now seen on one single screen or one single page here, rather than having to scroll all the way over to the right. So now what we can do is we can add in that closing paragraph tag. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Remember, we want to, whenever we see the little asterisk, that means it's not saved. When I do a Command S or a Control S on the keyboard, that little asterisk will disappear. And now let's preview this into a browser. We come over to the Preview icon. We want to click on that little down arrow, and then we can choose whichever application, browser application that has been installed onto our computer. In this particular instance, I'm just going to choose Firefox. So I'll select that. It'll ask me, is this what I want to do? I'll say, yes, preview. You can always say, remember the selection for next time. So I'm going to click on preview. And here it is, how it looks in Firefox. And for the most part, it will look this way in Safari, Opera, Internet Explorer, Chrome, that you'll notice that the header one is our largest text. And by default, the browser not only makes it a very large size, but it bolds all of our heading whether it's a subheading or a main heading, the font is made to be bold. And we can always change this utilizing CSS. You'll notice that the tabs that I added aren't added into how I see it on screen. The, the way the browser looks at your tabs, it doesn't recognize that. It only recognizes single spaces. So whenever we have a single space between some text or between a line, it just notices that. It doesn't notice any tabs. There is one element that will recognize that. We'll take a look at that later on. 
So we have all of our level of subheaders, and you'll notice it just keeps getting smaller and smaller down to the header six. As a matter of fact, the header six level is actually smaller than our paragraph. Once again, we could change that with CSS if we wanted to. And our paragraph, you'll notice here, is, you know, it really wouldn't look much different than if we didn't have a paragraph, but if we added more and more paragraphs, you would start to see uh, that there would be spaces after each one of those paragraphs. All right, so that's a quick look at the use of your header elements, header one, and all of your subtopic elements, as well as your paragraph element, the most common element that you'll have within an HTML document for your content. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to either email me or put a comment below, and hopefully it will help you out however I can.